What's good, my Dokkan Ninja Turtles, my big steppers, the ones that's never switched up and summoning it on Lord Greatness tonight. Yeah, I said Lord Greatness. I didn't say Lord Slug. I said Lord Greatness tonight because we finally been blessed on the game. Finally blessed this Omatsu woke up and brushed his hair and said, you getting Lord Slug. So I ain't switching up your boy summoning for him tonight. So we will be live tonight because as you can currently see right there, he does drop October 31st at 1 a.m. Eastern time in the morning. So more than likely, we'll probably be live either 12 or 1230. So I'll probably go ahead and make that live stream and probably even set it. That way, you know, your boy will be live. So listen, if you're new to the channel, you like what you see, sub up and turn on notifications where you get notified when we go live and put up more videos, man, because it's going to be great. The plan for Lord Slug, to be quite honest, is to probably use the tickets. And I do have 500 Dragon Stones currently right now on Dokkan. So if I need... I'll summon because I really do want Lord Slug, but hopefully the name of the game is to probably get him with the tickets. Hopefully my blessings, my RNG is going crazy and I get him. That's great. And then if I want to get greedy, burn my hand it a little bit, then I'll probably use a couple of Dragon Stones to be quite honest. But hopefully we get him for the tickets and that could be it. Because if we can get really blessed with the tickets, which the tickets ain't really blessed your boy whatsoever at all. The past couple of times I bought them. So hopefully for this one, since I really want him, Hopefully they bless you, boy. And like I said, we will get the kid Gohan as well, too. It's right down here. He does drop at that time as well. So, again, I think the uh, EZA for this is already currently out, too. Yeah. So, I still need to do that uh, there. But the name of the game right now for this one, too, is literally our video that we're going to be getting on YouTube November the 4th. November, big month for me. Birthday month. Very excited for that. But for the 4th, we will be getting the Super Dragon Ball Heroes live stream well excuse me not live stream i guess it's, well they have a set for a premiere so i'm just gonna assume it's a little video they usually do these every year stuff like that where we get all the information for the units this is pretty big it's very important just for the simple fact that uh we need to see if they're actually going to tell us that this is going to be the end and they're not going to do it again or what because it is going to be at uh, 11 it says 11 uh but i can't i don't see in the morning normally They've been doing a thing where they do it in the morning. So if it is at night, that's great. I'm, I'm off. So regardless, we're watching that 100% because like I said, I probably still might want to go to work and all this stuff. And you never know, but get some extra hours in. We're very excited for this one because depending on how long it is, they should tell us a lot from this one to be quite honest. They can even jam pack it if they really want. But we need to see one thing uh, for sure is if they're going to continue doing Super Dragon Ball Heroes going forward. We need to hopefully hope, and I speak for 90% of the community right now when I say hopefully we see the first LR for Super Dragon Ball Heroes, to be quite honest. I, it's been overdue. I'm pretty sure this one should be like Gogeta and stuff like that now. We already had hearts and stuff, but we didn't have Gogeta. So to be quite honest, I don't know if they would do the split banner or if they would just do one banner. Hopefully it's probably just one banner. I wouldn't mind either way, to be quite honest. Both the, all, the, the banner literally is a guaranteed feature each and every time so that you do a multi on it so it doesn't really matter to me if they just split it up with like all the supers on one and all the extremes on the other especially if we get a dual lr that would be insane if they did that i personally will like to say that i think that these units should be very very good they need to be very very good especially since every unit that we've been getting this year really has been very very good and it got a little bit more longevity in them uh, whether you like the unit or not, like it, it seems like they've got the longevity for them for a good little bit until we get some crazy new, uh, I, I don't know, meta that drops in, whether it be from the 10th year anniversary or next year's worldwide celebration, whatever it is, whenever they decide they want to like really switch up the meta. But they should be good uh, for a good little bit because, like I said, if we are like we're we're pretty much done with the uh, with the years of every year coming out, getting excited for these units, and then they fizzle out after about a couple of months. For me, it's probably about a month and a half that they fizzle out after we get some more units and stuff like that. And then I stop really running them. But for some people, you know, about two months, maybe three months, and then they pretty much don't use the units whatsoever at all anymore, especially since they don't uh, tie into any, like, missions and stuff like that. There's no real use to really use them unless you're trying to go just for fun. Hopefully we see that one. Hopefully we see a good little bit of information drop there is because like i said we should see animations we should see obviously the units we should get some more information upon if they're going to do uh this even more or not we'll have to really see but hopefully we get all that information right then there and maybe even a couple of surprise things that they introduce in this one because i don't think it's going to just focus on this one they might still introduce other things like they might put in like 
the third year anniversary or even the second year anniversary units because we should have got whatever's going to happen for the second year anniversary stuff to be quite honest like i mean they had it in their timeline their own timeline so i'm kind of curious to see what the heck is going to happen if they're just going to give like a bunch of units of around this little span get easy a's or super easy a's or whatever it is we should see something pop off so i wouldn't expect it to just be superheroes but regardless we will be live for that one so that's going to be a pretty fun time and like i said i like to look at everything live instead of like waiting and then seeing if it like leaks out and then putting all the leaks making all the videos and stuff like that i like to see it live and be surprised to see exactly how good they are with you guys live so if you enjoy that kind that type of content and stuff like that subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications wait it out like i said we will be live for this one probably a little bit um probably a little bit early as well too just so we can talk about it and have a good time but other than that hopefully you guys did enjoy the video have an awesome day slash night stay safe and i'm out peace yeah.